It is time for our top 10 tips of... Worlds of Fun. So stick around to the end of the video. And... Come with us. Hey guys, we wanted to stop and interrupt this video and let you guys know that it is sponsored by Expedia.com. Expedia has some great customer service where when we're checking in, we have a peace of mind. It also has a wonderful rewards program where we get big discounts on hotels that we normally wouldn't stay at. Definitely. So guys, if uh, you were trying to find a place to stay, hit the link in the description box below. It really helps us out as we are Expedia affiliates. And that way you can have your stay with our help today. So with that, let's get back to the video. Hey guys, welcome back to BA Adventures. Hi. So like I said, we are doing our top 10 tips and tricks of Worlds of Fun. If you guys are unfamiliar with what Worlds of Fun is or have never heard of it, it is actually a theme park up in Kansas City, ran by Cedar Fair. And it is a lesser known theme park in the state of Missouri. However, if you're from Kansas City, you know all about it. <laughs> but anyway, these are our top 10 tips and we're gonna let Ash get started with tip number one. Number one. So we discovered that the parking lot opens up one hour before uh, the theme park opens up. Mm -hmm. And they are going to like push you in, uh, go to lot C. C is right next to preferred parking. So we actually did not get preferred parking. We are actually right next to the front. Yeah, we walked across the street and we were right there. Mm -hmm. So um, I certainly think that you should get there early and get close as you can to the park. I agree. Mm -hmm. I, I totally agree with that. And um, honestly, the fact that it's putting us so close, we really don't need it. No. Anyway, on to tip number two, is that they are cashless, so be prepared for that. Mm -hmm. uh, that means you have to pay with a card. However, if you do have some cash, they do have places that will convert it into a card for you. So It was actually at the main gate, mm -hmm. yeah. like right before you got into the park. So, I mean, if kids are there mm -hmm. and you're giving them cash, they can convert that into a card. Yeah, I think it's like a gift card sort of system deal. So anyway, moving on, we have tip number three, and that is... Use the app. They have their own app, kind of like a lot of major theme parks do. Um, it's going to make your day go smoother. Um, it does have that GPS in there, so it's going to be able to track you while you go in there. Um, mm -hmm. So It's going to help you know yeah. your way around, too, and mm -hmm. give you the fastest route. That's what I mean places. when I say track. Yeah. <laughs> it yeah. tracks your location, so that way you can mm -hmm. figure out how to get to that uh, ride. Yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. So, Anyway, tip number four is operations of the rides are a little tough at the opening. Yeah. Uh, when we went, uh, we went straight for Zambezi Zinger. And we had to wait a little bit. and we About were... 20 minutes. Yeah. And I was kind of like, are we missing out on other rides that are up going? Should we be over there instead yeah. of here? Did we go the wrong way? Mm -hmm. Did we make a bad local route? But more on that as a bonus tip at the end. <laughs> so anyway, um, but yeah, it takes a while for those things to get going. Like we heard while we were standing there in line that it was going to be like an hour wait. And we were like, whoa, hold on. It just opened. Yeah. What is going on? Yeah. So which... Honestly, that is one of the biggest frustrations of a theme park is when you get there for a certain ride and you really want to ride it and then it's down and now you've got to change your whole day and your plans. Don't fret. That happens at every every theme park. Every single one, even the major ones. Yeah. So anyway, moving Number on. Five. Five. We are cruising through these tips. <laughs> Enjoy the theming of World of Fun. Mm -hmm. I thought it was so cool that every area that you moved into, the theme was different. So you have like a... Um, an African section, you have like Egypt in there too. You've got Americana, you have the Wild West, you've got um, Europa, wanna, Europa, and then you also have I say Norwegian, but it's not, it's it is Norwegian, it's Norwegian, like Viking yeah. area mm -hmm. or Scandinavian. Yeah, there it is. I knew it wasn't the word. Um, so we have a Viking area, and each area has like a um, music to it. Mm -hmm. um, it's instrumental. There's no words to it. And I think that's the coolest part. It really sets that scene and that tone of it. Um, so I thought that was cool. That is I'm a big cool. theming person, so I thrive on that. Yeah, and all, <laughs> and all of the rides in each section are even themed to that. Like um, the Zambezi Zinger in the Africa one. There was a... Mamba in Egypt area. Yeah, Spinning mm -hmm. Dragon. That was in the Oriental area that we weren't able to ride because it was down. Yeah. So... Yeah, we literally watched the guy and people carry the tire all the way across <laughs> the park to go fix it. So, anyway, 
Moving on, we have tip number six. Uh, gift shop in Planet Snoopy. Mm -hmm. Great place to go rest mm -hmm. and chill out if they don't have a show going on in there. It's a seed. It's secluded off to the side. There's places to sit at little picnic tables. And honestly, if you go swipe some food and you want to be away from people, like you're just overstimulated from people, yeah, it's a perfect place to go sit and chill out and relax. And you might catch a character showing up. We got Charlie and Lucy, I think, didn't yes, we? we did. We got Charlie so and Lucy So they like popped up. out. We were just sitting there for a moment, and mm -hmm. they popped out of a doorway. And I was like, oh! And they came up and hugged us and everything. We were the only people there. Mm -hmm. So it was pretty cool. Um, also, about the gift shop. If you forget any essential items, maybe like Tylenol, ibuprofen, deodorant, whatever it is, mm -hmm. they have that there. Yeah, that gift they shop. have it at Planet Snoopy, and then there was another one. Was at the front of the park? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. At the front of the park. I don't remember what that one was called. <laughs> it's like the main gift shop. Yeah, there. yeah. On to tip number seven. You don't need the lockers. Um, so there are bins or areas in which you can put your bags and stuff in. Um, so we were concerned about that. I didn't know if we actually needed to pay for a locker for the day or, mm -hmm. um, if we're able to take our bags on. Cause you don't want to like get up to a ride and then they tell you, you need to turn around with a right. bag. So, um, and that's just embarrassing to me. Yeah. A little <laughs> bit. It's kind of like, oh, well that stinks. Why can't I just set it over there? And Luckily, uh, you can do that. Um, if you guys have not seen our bag, check out our What's in Our Theme Park bag video right up here. But that's that's our bag. Like, it's a full-on, like, backpack. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, if you haven't seen it before, uh, yeah, pretty big. <laughs> so, anyway, on to tip number eight, express lane passes. Now, this can go either way. Mm -hmm. However, if you go on a Sunday, so it's kind of a double tip right yeah. in here. If you go on a Sunday, crowds are low, Okay. Not a lot of people are going on a Sunday. Crowds are low. Monday, everybody's getting back to work. Nobody really goes on a Sunday. Mm -hmm. And uh, you're almost forced to make people go on a Sunday if you're going to, like, you can't just drop your kids off because they have a chaperone rule. They do. Policy. So, mm -hmm. it's chaperone and they check those IDs. They actually checked mine and his, mm -hmm. thinking that we were underage, which I don't know how. Yeah, but I don't understand. <laughs> I will take that and I'll run with it. But um, I will say that with the Express Pass and going on Sunday, um, I think World of Fun is a very local park. Mm -hmm. They're going to have a lot of locals there. Yeah. And um, it is not a vacation kind of spot, I wouldn't think. No, Kansas City is mm -hmm. not really a, a place where, hey, I'm going to go on vacation to Kansas mm -hmm. City. It's not really that. Um, it is a big city. It is a place that, hey, if you're going to be here for a few days, go check out this theme park, especially mm -hmm. if you've got a day where you don't have anything planned. This might be something to go plan and do some. I do 100% agree that it is definitely a local theme park, mm -hmm. which is why Sunday's crowds are super low. Yeah. So, anyway. Now, however, here's the other side of that. If it is a busy day, these express passes may be worth it, especially for some certain rides, mm -hmm. um, like Zambezi Zinger, it's new. Yeah. Uh, Patriot, that's mm -hmm. a big one. Uh, Mamba. Oh, Mamba, yeah. Is another big one. So all of those rides, and then like, of course, there's the wooden coasters that people absolutely love. Yeah. Prowler. Prowler, yep. Mm -hmm. And Timberwolf. Timberwolf yeah. Timberwolf is. Uh, Which has got a birthday right now. Yeah, 35 mm -hmm. years in in uh, existence. Yeah. Crazy. So anyway, so now we are on to tip number nine. Okay, that meal plan they offer super worth it. Yeah. Um, I actually really enjoyed the fact that we were able to eat all day without mm -hmm. putting money out. Um, they do give you well, a little already, wristband. we already paid for it ahead of time. Yes, so. yes. Mm -hmm. uh, they give you a little wristband that goes around your wrist, and um, basically they scan it. Every time mm -hmm. you walk in, it's associated to your account. Yep. I think we had four meals in total. Yeah, it has a QR code on it. You just walk in and scan it. And So, yeah, we had four meals, and um, I definitely think that that's the case because we went to the... Uh, place the cheeseburger the Sahara place yeah in Egypt mm -hmm. uh, we did the Wild West one where we got the burritos which I really liked that yeah mm -hmm. or no the burrito bowls, bowls so yeah. it was, it was kind of mm -hmm. like a like a Chipotle or Qdoba mm -hmm. um, exactly yeah I mean but you got chips with it so mm -hmm. it, it like threw me off a little bit I mean you can get chips with the other thing but you pay extra for it these just came with it together um, you got pizza at the very end got pizza at the end we're missing one. Oh, the chicken strips over oh, in yeah. the uh, African area. Mm -hmm. Yep. So we definitely had four meals there and like we didn't eat everything. No. Like we did not eat all the burrito bowl. Like I got, I was stuffed, 
but it's every 90 minutes. Yeah. Very similar to uh, Bush Gardens when mm -hmm. we went. SeaWorld does it too. Uh, SeaWorld does it too, mm -hmm. hint, hint. So, yeah, we like to drop hints in places of places that we might be going. So. <laughs> Um, anyway, so our final tip, tip number 10, is Worlds of Fun is a one-day park. Mm -hmm. You do not have to stress over missing something. Mm -hmm. um, however, we did feel a little bit of some FOMO on them not having their shows when yeah, we went. Yeah, that was unfortunate. That was very unfortunate. Mm -hmm. But, however, um, it is a one-day park. You'll be able to ride everything that you want to ride, especially on a Sunday. Um, uh, we actually left early. Usually we're park closers. We get there mm -hmm. early and we close the park too. Especially if uh -huh. it's our first time to a park. Yeah. yeah. Like we wanted every little bit of it and we mm -hmm. were like, well, what was it? Three or four o'clock in the mm -hmm. afternoon and they closed at what time that day? Five. So we left two hours early. I thought they closed at six that day. Six. I thought they closed at like six or seven and we I left at three we left, or four. Yeah. I thought we had two hours left. No, so. I think we had a, we had two or three oh. hours left. I think so. But yeah, like we said, like we left super early. We were done. We did everything that we felt like we wanted to do. Um, and it was a weird feeling. It really was. I felt like, <laughs> did we miss something? Should we go back? Mm -hmm. And we looked at the map, made sure we did all the rides that we wanted to. Mm -hmm. Went in all the shops. We always go to the shops because I like to see what merch is there. Yeah. Um, and we, we ate quite a bit too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so yeah. Yeah. Um, and I did contemplate like going and riding one of the wooden coasters and then decided not to so yeah <laughs> so anyway going back and tying into that bonus tip mm -hmm. so going back to that little bonus tip of following uh the gps and the map and everything mm -hmm. while we were walking there was nobody that went to the left at all oh, towards zambezi right. zinger mm -hmm. here's why everybody went right straight to patriot mm -hmm. which is a superior coaster at worlds of fun just kidding. I don't agree, but I like um, it. I just don't agree. It's superior. Um, it, it 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 might be in my top ten. I haven't decided yet. Wow. It is a fun ride. I don't know if it is or not. I've I've contemplated over this for a while, but um, this is the bonus tip. If you are wanting to jump on Zambezi Zinger early, hop to the left. You'll be near to the front of the line. That is the newest ride, by the way. Mm -hmm. We really want to put that out there. That is the new one. That's why we went there straight. Yes and no. Mm-hmm. It well. is kind of a remade mm -hmm. ride from an original ride opening day attraction that was taken out, mm -hmm. and then it was brought back now with as Zambezi's here. Correct. Correct. So um, it is kind of a hybrid steel and wooden coaster, and it's fast, like faster it's, it's than what we expected. And it's it is fun. fun, but it is probably a one and one and done for us if we go to the park that day. Like we'll ride yeah. it again, mm -hmm. but it is definitely like, hey, this is the only time we're riding it today. Or we're gonna have headaches. It's all, a little rough long. for us. Okay. Well, it, it is partially a wooden coaster too. So, um, that being said, that is our bonus tip, and that is our top ten tips of worlds of fun. <laughs> so, anyway, if you guys uh, have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments below. We will elaborate more on each tip, yeah. and maybe even give you some um, extra advice on some things as well. Mm -hmm. So. Anyway, if you want to keep up with that and if you want to follow even more top 10 tips and tricks as well as other theme park news, updates, adventures, and anywhere else that we may be going in the future, we may have hinted at it. That being said, hit that like button, that subscribe button, and that bell notification button so that you guys don't miss any more of our news, adventures, updates, or any more tips and tricks we may have. And with that, bring on the next adventure. Bye, guys.